Do you want to learn more about foods grown with genetically modified organisms? We talked to consumers to find out what topics they most wanted to know about in order to cut through the confusion. Then we gave them the chance to meet with an expert to ask the tough questions. Here's what one consumer wanted to know about GMO labeling. So when it comes to GMOs, how do I know what exactly in this produce area is ge genetically modified? When I had spoken with some friends who are also moms, our understanding of GMOs is pretty gray. When it comes to GMOs, I know that there are two specific sides. A lot of my friends do fall into the pro-labeling, as do I. I've started looking at nutrition labels when I was pregnant. I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what was going in to all the ingredients that I've been using. Consumers today want to know what's in their food supply, and that's a good thing. As an educator, that's what I do all, the, all day, is try to develop scientists and people who are uh, knowledgeable about food and, and to be able to share that knowledge with others. Consumers are bombarded fairly constantly with information about things that they should avoid in the food supply or things that might increase their risk of disease. And it's very challenging for people to sort through that information. The reality is that almost nothing in this produce section is going to have a GMO in it. Probably the only things that would are going to be the papaya okay. that you have here and the sweet corn. Okay. Really everything that's in the grocery store in the produce aisle has been created or modified through selective breeding which is not all that different than GMO. When it comes to GMO products, is there a difference between a standard label versus one that's on a GMO product? The standard for nutrition labeling in the United States is to provide factual information about the ingredients in the product and the nutritional value of the food itself. The current position of the FDA is that a GMO product is not nutritionally different than a non-GMO product. It doesn't change the nutritional value. It wouldn't change the ingredient list. It would only be information about how that crop or that ingredient was produced. We don't have a current requirement to label because the standard is that it doesn't change the quality of the food at all. Now, an important thing to remember is that it is possible for a manufacturer to label their product non-GMO. So they can put on a package that this does not contain GMO products. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's allowable okay. and, and that any company can decide to do that. Okay. The confusion would come in and because people would maybe construe a GMO label as a warning label. Right. That there's something about this that they should be concerned about that might make them sick, that they wouldn't want their children to consume. Mm -hmm. And that's not truthful. There's no evidence that, that, that it would be harmful. What would happen if we were required to have labels on, on GMO products? How does that change the industry or, you know, does it change? I think it would have a huge impact on, on what we see in the grocery store. With any kind of a, of a regulation, there has to be a law that would go into place and then there has to be criteria. And so the price of the food will likely be increased. There's no difference nutritionally, there's no risks associated with that product, why would that cost be justifiable? Right. I think you have to look at all aspects of the implications and then weigh the risk and the benefit. This has been such a great experience to learn on a high level about GMOs and labeling regulations and safety. And I took away quite a bit, more than I expected. I just feel better equipped to make some much more educated decisions for me and my family. Hi, I'm Joellen Tan, and I'm the blogger and mom behind What's Cooking Chicago. My blog focuses on recipes that I make for my family, along with some side things that I do over the weekend that's related to the culinary field. I'm Ruth McDonald, and I'm a professor and chair of the Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition at Iowa State University. I have two boys. My oldest boy is in the United States Army, and my youngest boy is in college. 